Welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to just talk about how to calculate sales tax. Um, so how to work some sales tax problems. And so every state has a sales tax rate. And if you're in Texas where I'm at, then you know our sales tax rate is 8.25 and that's percent. And so whenever you calculate sales tax problems, you always have to convert that percentage to a decimal, okay? So if I wanted to buy, so for example, if I wanted to buy some shoes, uh, that cost $39.99 in the state of Texas. I have to pay taxes on them unless I'm a nonprofit organization or some tax exempt organization. Um, but $39.99 times the 8.25% sales tax rate. So our sales tax in Texas is 8.25. I would have to convert that to a decimal if I wanted to do any type of math with it. So remember to convert to a decimal, you move the decimal to the left to the left two times. So the decimal will go from here to here. And so that would be equivalent to 0 0.0825 as a decimal. So anytime you want to figure out what the tax amount is in the state of Texas, you'll take the amount of the product or the service and multiply by 0 0.0825. And whatever state you're in, you would also multiply by whatever your sales tax rate is. All right, so I have a few examples. That was just giving you in general how to calculate the sales tax. And so let's work some examples. For example, one, suppose that the local sales tax rate is 6% and you purchase a car for $32,800, all right? You wanna first calculate how much tax is paid and then you wanna calculate the final cost of the car. So the car is $32,000 as before tax. The tax rate is 6%. And so remember you have to convert any percentage to a decimal. So the decimal is here. Now you need to move that decimal to the left two times. And there's one space in there, so that converts to 0 0.06 as a decimal. So if you wanna figure out how much the tax is, you'll take that 32,000 and multiply by 0 0.06. You can actually um, multiply by hand or you can put it in the calculator, which is what I'm gonna do. So it just really depends on if you can use a calculator or not. Um, but if you can use a simple calculator, you can just plug that in, 32,000 times 0 0.06, and you get 1,920. So the sales tax that you would pay for the car would be $1,920. So now if you wanna find the total price of the car, then you would take the 32,000 and add the taxes to it. So the car costs 32,000, but if you add the $1,920, you end up getting $33,920. So the amount of the tax is $1,920, and then the total of the car would be $33,920, okay? So that's how you would calculate the sales tax and the total amount. Let's look at one more example. This next example, an exercise machine um, with an original sales price uh, or an original sale price of $860 is on sale at 12% off. What is the discount amount? And then what is the exercise machine sale price? Okay, so the original price is $860. <clears throat> so the original price of the machine is $860. It's on sale for 12% off. And so remember, anytime it's a percent, we have to convert it to a decimal. And so 12% as a decimal, you move the decimal two times to the left, that is equivalent to 0.12. So if you want to calculate the discounted amount, you will multiply the 860 by the 0.12. And so 860 times 0.12 is $103.20. 103.2. So the discount amount is $103.20. That's your discount. And so now if you want to find the new price or the sales price of the exercise machine, this time you would subtract that amount. So in the last example, we added because the sales tax was added to, it was a sales tax with sales tax, you added to the amount but this one is a discount, so you take it off of the amount. So you do 860 minus 103.2, and you get $756.80, okay? 
So the new price of the exercise equipment is $756.80. All right. So this is two examples of a sales tax. We say sell tax, sales tax problems, but one was a sales tax problem and the other one was a discount problem. And so this is how you will work them. You always have to convert percents to decimals. If you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments or through a personal email. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this video helped you at all, make sure you hit that like button. And I thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.